Okay, we're ready to start turn number seven of the first adventure of Legend of Drizzt. All right, so we start our hero phase. And let's see what our options are here. So we have, we have these flasks of oil. I can use it instead of attacking. Choose a tile, one tile away, attack that mon attack each monster. Well, there's only one. So I'm probably still better off using my Icing Death. Attack one adjacent monster. So maybe I should use this one. Let's see here. Move your hero up to his or her speed, then attack an adjacent monster. Yeah, that wouldn't be a good use of that power for a monster with one hit point. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll use Twinkle. Just mainly so I can figure out how this stance thing works. Alright, in anticipation of taking this thing down, we're going to move over here to this unexplored edge and we're going to attack using Twinkle. Twinkle has the same attack power, or the same attack bonus as Icing Death. It does not do two damage like Icing Death does, but it won't matter in this case, because if we hit it, we're going to kill it. And I guess we have this stance thing, which I think is beneficial. Alright, so we're going to attack using Twinkle. And we get a plus six. The goblin has a 12, so we need to get a six or better. And we got a 19. That's pretty good. And had we been using um, Icing Death, it would have done two damage. But again, that wouldn't matter. So this says that you attack the adjacent monster, and then you place your stance token on the card. So we're going to do that here. And then it says you can remove your, you can, so it doesn't say you have to. You can remove your stance token from this card when an adjacent monster hits your hero. And if you do, you reduce the damage of that attack by one. So I think the idea is that when we, the next time we get hit, uh, basically we can't use this power until the stance token is removed. That's, that's what I'm getting out of it. And then the next time we, we, we get hit, if we remove it, we reduce that damage by one. So, yeah, I, I think I get how that works. Okay, so we didn't use the Surge. We did move. We did attack. We did kill. So we will get that treasure. I'm going to scratch off that goblin. We're going to take it off the table. I really wish I knew how to paint. <laughs> So we'll take the archer, add it to our stack of experience, and I think we have enough experience to... Yeah, we can cancel an encounter now. Actually, we could have already. So there's our experience pile. Let's see. What am I missing? Anything? So then we're into the ex exploration phase, so we will draw... Wait, I didn't take treasure yet. I, said, I marked it, but then I didn't take it. Okay, so our treasure for killing the goblin is... Cure Potion. Use during your hero phase. Your hero or an adjacent hero regains one hit point and ends one condition on him or her discard after use. Um, um, I guess, I guess we can hold on to it for now. We have three hit points. We'll probably just end up using this at the start of our next hero phase. Alright, so we're on an explored edge, so we'll draw a tile. And we get an encounter. Let's go ahead and update. So we did explore. We got a black tile. And let's draw the monster. So the monster is... Wait, did I not draw a monster? I thought I did. Let me just double check. Yeah, I drew a monster. Okay, I've never seen this before. The event is that we do not place a monster. That's awesome. I, I can't believe my eyes. Like, this would never happen in Castle Ravenloft. I mean, did they just make this game maybe a tad easier? I mean, it's pretty hard, but... Boy, it is really hard to pick these up off the table, these new cards. 
um, well, anyway, so according to this, oh my god, that's hard to pick up, slide it all the way to the edge of the table so I can get it, so it is a monster card, yeah, I just, I'm just, I'm having a really hard time believing that because the way Castle Ravenloft is, there's nothing in Castle Ravenloft that helps you ever, it's always bad, all right, so we'll just discard that over there, so no monster, that's crazy, can barely believe it, so no monster, no blessings or conditions, and it's a black triangle, so we do have an encounter, there's no villain, that goblin archer's gone, so we don't have a monster this turn, that's insane, I've never seen such a thing, mind blown, but before we get too excited, let's see how deadly our encounter is, but I guess if it's too bad, we can cancel it, right, so encounter is from the shadows, choose the hero with the fewest hit points, that's Drizzt. Place a new monster on that hero's tile, of course. Well, I mean, you know, can't always be good. But I'm going to just go ahead and cancel that. So I'm going to use my five experience to cancel that encounter, and I'll discard five experience. It's just hard to pick these up flat on the table with one hand because uh, they're new cards. So yeah, we're just uh, we're basically in, at the end of the villain phase because uh, we're going to cancel that encounter and then there's no monsters to activate. So that is the end of turn number seven.